What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do an all my love reading for the sign of Leo, okay? Leo, you guys are second this week on the Zodiac lineup. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. You already know that all my love readings are kind of reminiscent of the dream catcher reads, focusing on love, all right? Um, love of self, love of a person or a particular situation that is occurring in your life right now, all right? The first card from the top is in reference to your energy. The one on the bottom is the energy of the person and or situation. And then one energetically from the middle. Is in reference to the energy between you and the person and or situation. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. See where you are right now, Leos. We have purpose. Okay. Purpose is in your energy right now. Then we have ownership, which is in the situation and or person's energy. Then we have expression, which is the energy between you and the person and or situation. Okay, so let's start with purpose for your energy. Okay, purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. Okay, so you are in a true positive energy right now to really consciously understand and dedicate to love at this point in time. Okay, kind of felt that going through your readings this week in a sense of even though you're kind of picky. <laughs> Even though you kind of picky and you kind of nitpick on particular things and traits and behaviors of whoever you are dating, you are kind of moving with purpose, okay? In the sense of finding that person um, that completes you if you have not already, okay, Leos? So you are moving with a purpose, okay? So next is ownership, okay? Ownership which is in reference to the situation at hand or a person that you are dealing with. It says you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and, they're, and learn to love them all as lessons, okay? I like this ownership. Okay, and I feel like this is more so towards you, Leo, than a particular person. Okay, um, for some of you, it could be where this person is actually willing to accept you for your uh, flaws. Um, but it's really about you starting to accept others for theirs as it's what makes them unique. Okay, and so you take ownership on, you know, that nitpicky personality of yours. Um, and you're starting to rein that back a little bit and not only accepting other people's flaws, but maybe also accepting yours as well. Okay. So I like seeing this. This is a huge change, um, in progression, if you will, um, from where you were at the start of the week, especially with your dream catcher read. Okay. Next is expression, expression, which is in reference to the energy between you and the situation and or person. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love, okay? Expression, meaning you are ready to possibly tell someone um, that you truly adore them, okay? And that you want to possibly maybe spend more time with them Okay, aside from 
all their quirky ways, okay? Um, one thing I, I am feeling, though, in the air for you guys, Leo, is that something maybe you are learning as a lesson and taking on ownership for that, you know, people do have a tendency of showing their representative when they're first starting out with someone. They don't want a person to know that, you know, they do little tiny things behind closed doors. That's the reason why people love having their own space or privacy, okay? Um, it's because they get to be who they are behind closed doors without anybody judging them, okay? Um, and so we all do little things like that, like having a burping contest with your own self, okay? Um, that's something that a lot of people do and don't want anyone else knowing that they do. But when you're willing to accept that or, you know, you kind of get acclimated to a person and you get comfortable enough with them, you don't mind expressing or showing those quirks, okay? Um, and sometimes we hold those things back because we don't want to be judged, okay? And so possibly you have gotten to a point where, you know, you're letting that kind of how they say freak flag fly in a sense. Um, and so is that person with you doing that, they probably um, are going to start lightening up and kind of letting you in a little bit more um, and vice versa, okay? And so it's now going to come to a point where you are willing to express um, your, you know, your, your flaws, um, expressing that you love them, um, despite all of those or just opening up period. Okay. So, and kind of stating that you are available, um, in a sense of dating if you're not with someone in particular. Okay. So that being said, let's see what the sign is focused on, meaning you Leos as a collective, one from the top and one from the bottom. You can take both of these messages for yourself, or you can take one for yourself, one towards the situation and or person, okay? Remember, you guys, you are sharing your energy. This is a collective reading. So where you may not fit in up here, you may have your energy is here, okay? So be mindful and, you know, be willing to share your energy. So we have addiction. Addiction which says codependent, obsessive, possession, controlling, has a block in restraint, okay? There's a person here with a chain, um, a chain heart to their leg, okay? So you have this coming up underneath purpose and ownership, okay? And so I feel as though, again, like I was just saying, sometimes we refrain or restrain from showing ourselves or any quirks or things like that because we want to come off as um, very ladylike or gentleman, if you will, but behind closed doors could be a totally different person, okay? You can be pristine in front of everyone and be trash behind closed doors. I've talked about this um, last month, I think maybe in Libra, okay? But I'm not really feeling anything in reference to like a codependent or obsessive um, energy or anything about controlling except for possibly trying to control the narrative of a relationship in the sense of, again, not really showing who your true representative is, okay? And so you've been restraining yourself, okay? Um, you could have been doing that for some of you Leos, not everybody, but you could have been doing that because there is a possible addiction to something, okay? Maybe trying to knock that bad habit Okay, I think that was going on with you guys maybe about two months ago, okay, in the ancestor reads, okay? So um, trying to get rid of those bad habits um, and restraining yourself from being that, you know, kind of alter ego, if you will, of yourself that you don't like anybody else seeing um, is possibly what's going on here. Um, and so it's now time for you, maybe you feel um, comfortable in sharing who you truly are with a particular person or just comfortable enough to start, you know, showing that when you're in the dating world. Okay. Um, that's it. So let's move on to the next one. Self-indulgence. 
self-indulgence, okay? Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, okay? Self-appreciation. Shadow work um, got brought up, I believe, in July's, June, between June and July's um, monthly manifestations. You can go and check those out if you're a newcomer here, okay? You can go on my channel. Monthly Manifestations is primarily there um, as a collective reading in regards to helping you reorganize your life based on the moon phases, okay? Um, and so you can go there and check that out. It is past month energy. However, these things are, these readings are timeless, okay? So you can catch up on them at any given point in time. It's based on when you need it, okay? But we talk a little bit about shadow work somewhere in between one of those two months. You might need to watch both, okay? Um, but do it at your leisure. Um, <laughs> Do it at your leisure because it, it can get heavy. There are some hidden messages there. If it's not in reference to you obtaining something um, materially, it could be, you know, self-improvement um, that you're trying to work on, okay? So um, make sure um, you kind of start appreciating yourself. It's time for you to heal. Again, um, self-indulgence in a good way as far as loving yourself knowing what your worth is knowing what your value is okay um again it's for a set of leos that are probably um trying to get back to who they were based off of um maybe a toxic behavior or karmic energy okay so that is where this set of leos is like i said totally different set of energy in the leo collective this is a message for you. If it's not for you and this was for you, take this and keep it moving, okay? Even if you choose to just stop the, the reading after that, that's perfectly fine, okay? If you make it all the way through to the end and it didn't resonate for you, at least it was a lesson somewhere, um, hopefully, and that's all that matters to me, okay? So it's, it's a two for two here, okay? Either it resonates or you get a lesson, okay? So... Let's move on to one last message, one from the top, one from the bottom in regards to the outcome of the energy. Same situation here, take both for yourself or one each for the situation and yourself. The first message is getting to know each other, okay? Getting back to <laughs> those in this main line of spread, uh, of the spread, okay? Um, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens as you reveal your innermost selves to each other you bond your bond deepens okay so as I said before you let those restraints go um, and you start letting your true self show okay so it definitely will connect you more with that person. It means that you trust them and they trust you, okay? Not just letting or allowing them to delve about themselves, but keeping everything you have going on um, with you, you know, it, you have to give a little to get a little, okay? So just remember that you're possibly in that phase right now for some of you Leos. Next. Ooh, new love, Leos, new love. I love it, okay? New love, all right? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? So Leos, you could be, or a separate set of Leos, you could be um, possibly talking with someone now that you obviously feel something for. It could be a friend um, of a friend, a mutual friend, possibly, okay, um, that you're kind of vibing a little bit, okay? Um, nothing wrong with that. Hopefully, you're just not breaking any, you know, boundaries or anything like that, which I'm not saying that you would. I'm just saying with that energy that I'm feeling, um, just be mindful of that, okay? Um, nevertheless... For others of you, it's a situation of just someone actually, like I said, um, it's kind of 
carrying over the energy from Libra in regards to like past life relationship. Okay. Um, it could be somebody that again, is just a whole vibe. Um, you just always seem to click when you're with each other. Okay. Um, they're stirring up these, these feelings for you. Maybe you never thought you could possibly fall in love with someone or even feel interested enough to fall in love with someone, but you're moving with purpose. You're moving with the intent of demonstrating love consciously to someone, okay? And so with doing so, you are going to attract which in, in which you are, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> Presenting, if you will, okay? So with that being said, I like this energy for you guys, Leo. You've come a very long way and I'm very proud of you guys. All right. Um, this is all that I really have for you guys this evening. We do have an energy shout out. I'm pretty much going to be delayed on that. I have some stuff I need to work on. Um, so it will be coming out shortly, possibly tomorrow. Um, I usually do them on Sundays, but I've been pretty busy. So um, with that being said, Check out energy shout outs. You do have one that was previously done about two months ago, I believe. Um, so by all means, you can go there and get some additional messages there that is a collective reading. So until then, Leos, peace.